We recently installed an electric water heater, uh, which is very unusual in this uh, area. Uh, we've been using natural gas pretty much forever. So this is a 50 gallon ream uh, electric that we just installed. Um, just on a side note here, I put in an old school um, heat trap on the uh, cold water supply found that that works better than the, uh, the heat traps on the, uh, that come with the device. And here's a key to this whole thing. Um, for about 20 bucks online, I got a, uh, an electric meter. So that tells us what we're going to be using. So in order to figure this out, we need some basic conversion factors. Um, one kilowatt is equal to 3,412 BTUs. And, um, in our area, um, our gas is built in therms, so um, 9,980 therms is equal, uh, BTUs is equal to one therm. So the electric, um, it's rated at 5.5 kW. Um, I know from that meter that we use an average of about 15 kW a day. And if you convert that 15 kW to BTUs, you come up with 51,000 BTUs per day. So now we're going to take that 51,000 and uh, see what how that converts over to gas. Um, so we use the conversion factor and we find out that we're using about 0.512 um, therms per day. Um, gas water heaters, even the power vent variety, are only at about 94% efficient. So we're going to say we're using about 0.545 therms per day. So the electric um, at 15 kilowatt hours per day uh, at 15 cents a kilowatt hour is about $67 a month to operate. The gas um, at 0.545 therms per day um, costs us about 50 bucks a month. All this is based on uh, rates in the Chicago area averaged over six months. So here's some general notes on this whole thing. Um, this comparison is based on a household of two seniors. We're home most of the day. Uh, we keep the water set about 130. Um, the cost of gas in our area has gone up a lot lately. Um, and I didn't know this, but um, the cost per therm actually swings pretty wildly. Uh, electric water heaters are close to 100% efficient. Um, on a side note, the gas unit will burn about 18.7 million BTUs per year. Um, that converts to about 2,000 pounds of carbon added to the atmosphere. The first hour delivery uh, of water, hot water uh, for both units is very similar. Uh, however, the recovery rate for the electric is quite a bit lower. Um, the electric unit um, is a much simpler design. Uh, you've just got heating elements in the water. That's it. End of story. Um, power vent gas units are really complicated. Um, there's a lot of reasons that um, they can be made to not run, um, that need to be troubleshooted or whatever. Uh, so I, I think the um, my general preference is the electric unit. Um, base cost, uh, the electric uh, water heater cost me $629. Um, an equivalent power vent would be $1,269. Um, and the gas unit had a six unit warranty compared to the electric's um, nine year warranty. So um, for us, it was, a, it was an easy call um, to go electric uh, because we have quite a bit of um, solar generation here. So I hope that is helpful to somebody. Have a great day.